Hello. Um, yeah. I took a couple day break. Whoops. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, what was it? What fucking day is it today? Today is Wednesday. Yesterday I, I worked. So, you know, I was expecting to take yesterday off. On Monday. Honestly. I don't even fucking remember what happened at this point. I think, uh, I think I just woke up, like, really late. And, uh, I just wanted to spend some time with my girlfriend, so I ended up doing that instead of streaming, if I remember correctly. Um, but goddamn, I really need to fix my, uh, my sleep schedule a little bit, because I keep waking up way later than I mean to. Let me get into disc room just to make sure that- okay, good. I was having, like, extra problems with getting the game to run in full screen today for some reason. Like, it was doing that same thing that it previously was, where, like, when I change between full screen and windowed, it immediately changes back, but... This time, it actually changed to windowed, uh, which I didn't want it to do. And then I couldn't change it back to full screen, so I had to do some finagling to get it back into full screen, but it's working now. That's, like, the only finicky thing that I have left with the game, right? Because, uh... Well... <laughs> I was gonna say, they updated the game to make the walls a little less sticky. The walls are definitely less sticky? It's still a little bouncy on them, though. However, the biggest change to walls is they made it so that uh, walls don't stop your dash when you're dashing against them, which is really nice. Oh, which means you can do fucking spot dodges now. Ah, I didn't even think they would let you do that. I thought it would probably still stop it if you were going straight into a wall, but nah. You can do a against a wall spot dodge. I mean, it's not very useful in this room. So, to address the stream, I am going to be doing challenge runs today. I just, like, you know, it's kind of hard. It was hard for me to route how to do it when I didn't know what I was missing before. And uh, there wasn't that much video footage of, like, speed runs or challenge runs especially. There's, like, nothing. Um, so I didn't know how I was supposed to route it. Uh... I did find a speedrun, though, that gave me the information I needed. So, I, I guess when I was testing it, I just messed it up or something. But, um... So, the way room unlocks work, or at least how I believe them to work, is... So long as you have a zone unlocked, any completed, like, objective... Like, you see the objective at the top left corner? Like, it's more understandable when you look at one like this, which is just survive 90 seconds in the zone. If you complete that objective, regardless of if you're connected to it or whatnot, does not matter, it'll unlock the room, so long as you have the zone unlocked. Um, so what that means is technically I could survive 90 seconds in the very first room, and then go straight to the boss. Uh, and same thing for this, you need 60 seconds in this zone, so I could survive 60 seconds in this room go straight to the boss. But, uh, I do still need to figure out some routing things, because, like, the center is going to be particularly hard, because I don't know how I'm gonna navigate from, like, this room to the other zones, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Well, I mean, for this one, it's just defeat two gatekeepers. So that one should be pretty easy, actually. That should unlock by default. Oh, both of these rooms will unlock by default. So I'll already have this area unlocked as soon as I defeat this gatekeeper, so that's pretty nice. Uh, this is- oh, wait, how the fuck is this room possible, though? Dude, I'm afraid I just hit another stopping point that I didn't even think about. Because if you die to any disc in this room- oh wait, no, you could die to the teeth, right? There's still teeth? Yeah, okay, there's still teeth. Okay, so you have to survive as long as you can, but do not fucking die to those those discs. Die to the teeth, and then you can progress. Okay, I'm still working it. We'll work through the routing stuff in a second. First, I want to wrap up the things I know how to do in the save file, because I also figured out how to get this golden disc, so I figured I might as well start out with that. Let me look at this room real quick. Okay, yeah, so I just completely brute force this puzzle. Uh, you see how some of the floor tiles are a little bit darker tinted than other ones? That's supposed to show you the tiles you're supposed to touch. Uh, but I just 
literally looked at, like, how far away I was to completing the puzzle and kind of brute forced it. My bad. Um, but that is... Is that... Yeah, I guess these don't have darker tiles at all. I just didn't pay attention, basically. Um, but that does mean that, uh, yeah, in this room, same thing going on. And I was really close to also brute forcing this one. But, uh, it is not the same eyeball pattern. It is just, uh... A circle in the middle, so... Yeah, I, w I was close. I was close to figuring it out. And, uh, I was right in assuming that, uh... You do have to clear... Oh, I fucked it. <laughs> I still suck at video gaming. I was right to assume that you have to clear a full floor tile before proceeding with the actual pattern you need to put in. Since it starts you on the, uh, the bottom layer... You always have to... Well, that wasn't smart, was it? You always have to clear a full floor tile. I mean, I also, like, in the Reddit thing that I looked at that, you know, fixed uh, fixed my problem for me, there was also someone saying you can... Oh! Well, there it was. There was someone saying that you can uh, use slow, like the slow ability on frame one when you spawn in, and it'll prevent the, uh, the first tile from being touched, but it's also not that difficult to do it this way, so I'm just going to do it this way. I do suck at video gaming and am impatient as all fuck, but there you go. That is not the golden disc I was expecting. I was expecting a golden one of these shooty guys, but sure. Sure. Um, so that's all of the golden discs discovered and all of the discs discovered, so let's take a look at that. Golden Phase. There is something so human about these golden discs and what they suggest in their secrecy. Couldn't agree more, buddy. Alright, let's, uh, go to Star Map. Which should just, like, oh, what? Oh, there you go. Orb. Oh, I have to, yeah. <laughs> Where? <laughs> what am I looking at? What? Okay. Ah. Uh? And then it just is back to normal. Are there orbs in these other places? Nope. Alright. I mean, just for... Due diligence sake, I guess I'll uh, I'll test it just to make sure it doesn't happen if I resolve the puzzle or something. No, okay. I, I I think I have to wait for the first one to touch and then just get the right one. Yeah. But no, that is uh that's not given me another orb or anything. Oh well. Um, I guess I solved that. <laughs> Still have no idea how to do this room. <laughs> Probably have to wait, uh, wait and see until someone else figures that one out for me, I guess. But, uh, okay, let's, let's focus on routing now, because that's the only thing that I need to do before I can start doing the challenge runs. So I think what it'll probably look at, or look like, is I, I definitely want to come to Close Encounters so I can get the dash ability. Like, that's pretty mandatory. So, survive like 30 seconds in disc room, survive like 30 seconds and on your feet, and really try to survive 30 seconds in close encounters. But what it's probably going to come down to is dying pretty quickly here, and then having to fill out the rest of my time in Blades Runner. But that's four rooms. Damn. Like, I'd, uh, I'd like to keep it as low as possible, but... Bare minimum, I need to spend three rooms here. Which is cutting it close. Four... Uh, and I'm not even thinking about the fact that I have to go on 200% speed yet. Alright. Uh, okay, whatever. So, three to four rooms in here. And then you survive on the gatekeeper. Which does not take a death. Um, so that's good. Then from here, you're probably going to have to spend two rooms in this zone. You're probably not going to get 60 seconds on this level. 
Um, so, like, you're looking at 30, 30 in these two rooms. So that's... Oh, I haven't even gotten 30 seconds in this room on my, uh, my normal save. How hard is it? Oh, fuck. It is actually kind of hard. I hate this room. Oh, shit, I'm using Blast. I should practice with, uh, with Ash. I mean, it'll be going this fast, too. Mmm. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm starting to think that maybe I'm not cut out for this kind of fucking thing. This is going to be a little bit harder than anticipated. I just don't understand their movement, man. Like, they... Uh, they seem to, like, bounce along the sides pretty carefree, and then sometimes they'll do an actual, like, big bounce towards the center. I think the way it works is when they touch the wall, it picks, like, an angle, or, or like, a... Yeah, like, a, a rotation per second. Like, how many degrees it's gonna move per second. And, uh... That is randomized every time it touches the wall. But it never changes from going uh, clockwise to counterclockwise or anything, I don't think. No, it seems to always just change how fast it's rotating when it touches a wall. Or actually, that might have bounced back. I can't really tell. I should probably stop going two times speed so I can try and pay attention to it. Oh, they definitely can change from counterclockwise to clockwise. Uh, let's just, so I don't have to hold the fast forward button, let's just go into difficulty and make game speed 200. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. And you can fast forward this to go up to like 400% if you wanted to. Oh dude, this is not looking good for me. You move so fucking fast. Like, this is actually potentially a really strong reason why you don't want to be on keyboard, actually. Because, like, on normal speed, it's not that big of a deal. Like, there have been some cases where I'm like, oh my god, I can't do, like, tiny little tippy-tappies. But on 200% speed especially, it's like, a tiny little input puts me way farther than I actually want to go. And if I was using an analog stick... Again, assuming there is analog movement, which I'm pretty sure there is. Um, I could nudge myself much tinier distances. Much more consistently. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, I guess I should stay on... Oops. Harder difficulty. It's cool that they, uh, they take away your golds when you change to the harder difficulty, like the times are separate. Uh, okay. Well, that seems like it's gonna be miserable. But you can't go into this room. So if you don't get 60 seconds between these two rooms, your run is over. Like, potentially I can get above 30 seconds in this room. Like, that's, that's... In all likelihood, what I am going to have to bank on is getting, like, a really good time in this room so that I don't have to survive that long in the other room. God damn, It's fucking hard, though. So, wait. Okay, good. The, the timer does go up twice as fast on 200% speed, because I was going to be very upset if 200% uh, speed meant that the game... Like, all of the discs and stuff move two times speed, but uh, the timer stays at one time speed. Thankfully, it's not that unforgiving. The timer does move up double fast. Dude, I, I can't... Like, my dash distances are so fucked on uh, two times speed. Dude, I'm actually starting to think that on two times speed, I might fucking have to not get dash, but instead get slow-mo. Just because it's so fucking fast. But even still, because this is the first room in which you can unlock slow-mo, I would have to do this room without it. Like, you're not allowed to die to the same disc more than once. And by this point, I would already have died to the normal disc, probably. Well, no, 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 never mind. I actually, I genuinely have to save the normal disc if I'm going for dash. 
because I'm not allowed to die to slow-mo if I have dash. Dude, this is fucking ugh. You know? It's uh <laughs> This is even a little bit harder than I anticipated. I like uh the whole time I was thinking about this, I was just leaving 200% speed in the back of my head, being like, ah, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. Turns out, it's actually a, a very large deal. One of the larger deals associated with this. And, like, the, the question is, do I practice the rooms I'm going to have to go through ahead of time, or do I just keep doing runs and get the practice naturally, you know? Hard to tell, but I think I'm probably going to opt in for a little bit of natural <laughs> practice and see how that goes. I, I'm not even getting close to 30 seconds, let alone like the 40 or 50 I would really like, because surviving on this room, <laughs> uh, it's not going to be easy on 200% speed. Is not is not going to be easy. Like fifteen seconds was really fucking good. <laughs> I, what do I have? Like seventeen seconds on not two hundred percent speed. Oh no. Okay, so whatever. You go through that, and then well, let's just go like mock run. All right. So it looked like this room first surviving for hopefully like 30 seconds here. Well, yeah, close enough. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Not even close. Not even close. Why? Ooh, 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 I, I won't have dash here either, that's the thing. Like, I just panic dashed and, I, you know, for one thing, it wasn't even a good dash. I didn't avoid any obstacles when I did it. But, uh, secondly, I gotta remember that on the challenge run, I'm not going to have dash by this point. Like, I'm really starting to think that, uh, slow-mo is going to be preferred over dash, because I, I just, I can't fucking dodge things this quickly. I need to use more foresight. I keep getting surprised by where the discs are ending up. Okay, <laughs> good foresight, Will. Really solid foresight there. Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah, I... I think I might be in over my head on this one. <laughs> I think I... Oh god, I think that I could probably do... Seven out of eight challenges, but no one fucking cares about that. No one fucking cares about getting seven out of eight, right? doesn't mean anything unless you get all eight challenges. See, this was really lucky RNG. The discs are being pretty nice. Well, they were. Okay, so let's pretend I got like 30 seconds there. <laughs> then I'd have to come in here, get an additional 30, or more than 30, if I didn't do so hot on the last room. And, like, much more difficult than I was anticipating is going to be not accidentally dying to the incorrect disc type. Because I, I have to be super fucking careful that uh, I die to very specific discs, you know? Because I can only die to each disc type one time. So on that last room, I'm not even supposed to die if I'm getting dash, I'm not supposed to die to the normal disc, I'm supposed to die to the wall discs. And on this room, I am supposed to die to, uh, the big disc. Because I need to keep the, the normal small discs available for the first level of the jungle area. It's, it's too much for me. It's, it's too much, man. I, uh, I might want to, you know what, just for fucking shits and giggles, let me grab my controller here. 
I want to see if it can connect without too much finicky, finicky finagling. Let me see. Like, I'm not going to have the, uh, the input display immediately, obviously. Oh, ooh, ooh. Steam, Steam didn't like this one. What are you doing, Steam? There you go. Okay, it worked. Alright, let me let me test it around for a bit. Uh, the game does have analog input. Holy shit though. This is this is uh, I, I don't even think this is that much better, honestly. I I feel actually like infinitely less in control. Like the uh, I I mean I'm a, still not very comfortable with a DualShock controller. And B, the the uh, imprecise nature of the analog input is, uh, is making me a lot more frightened. Like, it is nice that, I mean, uh, at 200% speed, like, how often am I even going to be able to do, like, tiny little tippy-tap analog inputs, right? Like, I, it's, it's nice that analog input exists, but I honestly... I don't think it's actually going to help that much. Which is, uh... Kind of a blessing in disguise, though. Because if I had to relearn my... My entire... Way I'm inputting <laughs> actions into the game, it'd probably take infinitely longer. Alright, uh, I might as well start my timer, by the way. I was going to wait until I started doing an actual challenge run, but... If I want to, I can just restart it. <laughs> and, uh, and do timed runs. Dude. I think I might... I might have to... Fuck around. You know, let's, let's consider doing that. Let's consider fucking around with, uh... Just 100%. Which would be... 7 out of 8 challenges, instead of all challenges. Because I could still beat the game in under 15 minutes, less than 30 deaths, game speed... Well, no, not that one. <laughs> Unlock one ability, never die in under 10 seconds. I forgot that was even a thing. But, uh, you know, we wouldn't do that anyways. Uh, die from less than 12 different disc types. Never play a room twice, never die from the same disc type twice. I could still do all of those on 100% speed. And... I think it would be better just to, like, understand the route and make sure that the route works before jumping into what is actually going to be the hardest challenge, which is uh, adding 200% speed into the mix. Like, I, I can barely defeat the last boss on 100% speed, having to double that. But I mean, like, look at how much easier this shit is on 100% speed. I mean, yeah, it's like you're playing it in slow motion, basically. Well, there you go. I got 30 seconds. That was very bad. Okay. Well, I, I think we understand what that looks like, then. We've done these three rooms before. I shouldn't have dashed there, also, because I'm not supposed to have dash. But anyways. Then you do the boss. We get that part. Let me see how possible it is to survive for, like, 40 or 50 seconds in this room. I think 40 is definitely possible. 50 is maybe a bit out of out of uh, reasonable, but I can try. I never even noticed that makes a whole lot of sense, but I, I never noticed that uh, discs don't spawn in the center of these rooms because, like, you have to stand in the center. Oops. Well, that would have been an ended run, because I died to the slow-mo disc, and also wasn't even 30 seconds. Man, this is still going to be rough, even without 200% speed. Oh, man. Like, I... I, I just... I don't know, man. The, the person who sent the fucking screenshot of their 8 out of 8 challenges to JW... I, I don't want to say they didn't get it legitimately, but, like, this is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. And, uh... 
you know, even watching the speedrun videos I did to understand the routing a bit better, I didn't see anybody who looked like they could perform as well as necessary on 200% speed to, to get all A challenges. Because, like, you know, obviously the speedruns were, were using the fast-forward button whenever they could. Because fast, you know, fast, when it, you want to be fast in a speedrun. But, <laughs> you know, they were all dropping it whenever things got a little hairy, which is pretty often. So let's pretend. Let's pretend I got 42 and 18, which are literally my best times in these two rooms. Then I get to do the Overgrown Gatekeeper, which I shouldn't have to practice, but I might as well. You just have to get 20 seconds, I think. Like, this shouldn't be even remotely difficult. Oh god, wait, no. I did forget it had uh, spinny boys in it. It still shouldn't be life-threatening. I, wow, I almost fucking sucked a big one. Tw oh, three, three times. Did suck it on the third time. Alright, uh, let's pretend I nailed that beautifully. Then I would have this room unlocked, which... Oh, fuck. What is the... Oh, no, dude. I forgot the gatekeeper works differently here. Collect 50 orbs total in this zone. This one is actually potentially very difficult. Uh, cause, yeah, wow. <laughs> so, you have to take a death here and survive at least 10 seconds, but you really do want to survive bare minimum. You want to survive 10 seconds in this room, and that is it. Because time means nothing to uh, unlocking this area's gatekeeper. Okay, and then you have to collect as many of these fucking orbs as possible. I don't remember, do, do the antibodies die and leave Karkai? I think they do, right? It's been a while since I did the normal antibody rooms, I'm just used to lobotomy. But I, I think they do die and just leave carcasses. Which is nice. Uh, don't like this room too much, though. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to do this on 200% speed? I, I, I barely got 10 on 100% speed. And I'm supposed to be, like, hoping for, you know, 20 to 25 would be optimal. Because uh, I'm already pretty low. I'm at 6 rooms. I'm at 6 out of the 12 allowed rooms. And the 2 in the jungle are... Well, technically you could bring jungle down to 1. I mean, technically in all areas you could bring it down to just 1 room. But let's not get crazy. So is he just spawning... I wasn't paying attention. Does he just spawn in those those discs regardless of how fast I'm picking up these orbs? Because if so, uh, picking up these orbs very, very quickly could vastly change the difficulty similar to how it does in Lobotomy. I can't tell. Fuck. Uh, that looks like about the same. I think I had, like, four, maybe five of these spinning discs last time. So, that that looks about the same. Honestly. Well, let's assume that I get 13 in there. Maybe that's a hard one. Maybe I can bank on doing much better in this room or something. No, probably not. Not when it's this guy. No, no, no. I mean, maybe if I get... Oh, fuck. That was stupid. Maybe if I get 10, like, very, very quickly. And he only gets to spawn, like, two waves of these things. He's probably going to spawn three, though. Yeah. In all likelihood, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, four, four is definitely sub-optimal. Write that down in your notebooks. <laughs> you, you don't want to be seeing four waves of these sea urchins. <laughs> that kind of screws you. 
All right, well, let's say that, you know, we're only at eight rooms out of the 12 allotted. Let's say that maybe this is the one. No, this is definitely not the one, because these are homing. And no, 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 these aren't the homing ones. These are the shooting ones. Okay. Still probably worse than uh, either of the rooms that have come before it, though. Maybe this room... No, actually. I was going to say this room might be easier than the first room. I don't think so, though. It's probably... If not more difficult, it's at least, like, the same amount of difficulty, I think. Probably is more difficult, though. God damn, dude. Okay, well, let's say <laughs> that maybe... Maybe... Maybe this is the easy one, huh? This is the one that has the homing bullets, and is also the most aggressive. By far the most aggressive, like, actual antibody. Honestly, this one seems pretty fucking doable, especially because the aggressive nature of the antibody, well, that sucked, doesn't really mean anything once it becomes a carcass. And then if all that goes well, I still have to succeed against the gatekeeper, which I don't have the best track record on. This one actually took me like quite a bit of time. I think you just need to get it to 50, though, and it dies, from what I remember. Oh, not 50? Or is it different because I've already killed it before? I think it might be different because I've already killed it before. I definitely don't remember having to collect, like, a... Oh, it's 60. Okay, no, that, that makes sense. So that would have been a win there. That would have been a success. That's not that bad. The rooms that precede it are pretty bad, though. I can't really sacrifice all four of these rooms. <sighs> like, I could maybe get to nine... Nine deaths here, and then skip to the gatekeeper. And then what? What happens next? Oh, this room, actually. Okay, so this room unlocks, too, so I could go this way, also. Uh, how, what do I have to do? I have to survive 120 seconds. Ooh, ooh, ouch, okay. Well, in the room that... Oh, wait, no, but can you do this room? Because doesn't this room give you the absorb ability immediately? I did see someone doing a challenge run, but it was just the challenge run, like a single challenge. They were just doing the uh, the challenge run for only having one ability. I can't remember what they did here. But I think they, like, I don't know, because, like, when you do this room the first time, there's just one disc that rapidly follows you, and when it kills you, it gives you the absorb ability. I think what they might have done was not died to a disc, but instead waited 10 seconds to, you know, I, I think unlock this room. And then they just, like, selected a different room to, uh, to kill themselves and then went into this room. I might be mistaken. But still, I mean, you know, you could maybe get more than 10 seconds, but... The single disc is actually pretty hard to avoid. I mean, maybe I'm misremembering how hard it was, but I think it goes pretty damn fast. So I don't actually know how long you could survive in this room before having to leave. Whatever. Uh... So that's 10 out of the 12 allowed rooms to die in. And I'm not even sure if it would be legal to kill yourself in that way, or if the game would get upset. Since you you kind of cheated the die to a disc thingy, I don't know. That's something I'm not really a hundred percent on. <sighs> but like, you really, you you can't <laughs> spare that many rooms at this point if you're gonna take three in this area. 
Like, I don't know, three is kind of bare minimum for this area, because you, you want dash. Dash is definitely the strongest ability, not at 200%. Maybe slow on 200%, but dash definitely for, for less than 200%. And, uh, so that's bare minimum three rooms here. So that would be four and five. I was counting it as if I had to do four rooms here, but bare minimum you could do three. And then this would be four and five. You really don't want to do six, seven, eight. But if you have to, you have to. Uh, assuming you can survive in this room just fine, that would be like nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... <laughs> Those aren't great. Those aren't great. <laughs> you really want to just be at, like, two rooms in this area. Whatever, you go to the gatekeeper. 120 seconds is just way too long. I've survived so long in this room, though. What is this room again? This room's actually pretty survivable. For, for a pretty damn long time. So if you survive 20 seconds in the first room, I could see myself lasting a minute in this room. With, uh, with some luck. Well, that's not what I would call some luck. Uh, but if I get a little lucky, you could survive around a minute in here. And that would be the full 120 seconds needed. Or no, 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 no! That's not how time works! <laughs> Wait, it's 120 seconds, not 1 minute 20 seconds. Oh, fuck. Um, so that would be halfway to where I need to be. If I survived a minute in this room, that would be good. Uh, fuck. But whatever, let's assume that I'm at, like, fucking... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 at worst. I unlock this room. To get the gatekeeper, I just have to survive 20 seconds? Oh, no. It's not... Mm. It's not 20 seconds in this zone, it's 20 seconds in this room. And this is survive 90 seconds. So, wow. <laughs> okay. That would be, like, oh, bare minimum. I don't have very good times in this area. You're looking at, like, an optimistic three rooms before the boss. A yikes. <laughs> Well, it is possible. I, I, th I have my routing set up. Let's just start doing some actual attempts, then. I know what I'm doing. I know it's possible now. Let's, uh... Wh when, do I, when do I start the timer? I guess... Now. There you go. That's when I start it. It's probably not the right place to start it, but whatever. I'm not going for actual speedrun. It's just fake timer. Let's, uh, let's see how far I... Oh, okay. Good start. We're gonna live with it. Because uh, I technically don't have to restart yet. <laughs> Fuck the... Not a good start. Uh, no. It's okay. Don't let it get to you. 15 seconds is plenty of time. Plenty of time. I still got this. This is an easy room right here. Also, what did I... You know, I already failed the second challenge. Yep, I failed. Uh, never die from the same disc twice. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going, because I need the practice, no matter what. The hardest thing is going to be surviving for as long as possible. Wow, not where I expected that to go. And then I'm, I'm probably already... Well, I'm definitely already dead for many reasons. Let's just restart this one. I wish I could do a faster reset, but I guess it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But definitely uh, seeming a little bit harder than anticipated at first. Ever so slightly. So I have to be like very, very, very certain that I die against the wall discs, which is, uh, going to be a little bit harder 
than I originally thought it was going to be when I'm trying to really push the amount of time I'm surviving here as far as possible. Okay, I feel scared. I'm, I'm gonna bank it at like 33. It's a... It's a solid bank. Now I have to die the big disc here. Absolutely mandatory. Right? I guess... Okay, technically... No, I, I do just straight up have to die the big disc. Because there is only two discs in the next room, right? I think it's the uh, just the ones that dash at you and the wall discs. And, uh, well, there's that challenge gone. Let's keep going. This room is, uh, like, I'm really going to need practice on. Getting 30 seconds without dash. Not going to be the easiest thing for me. Yeah. They, they juke you out. Like, I never expect where they're going to dash. Because of how, like, desynced their aim is. From their, their actual dash. Like, they, they pick a point to dash to way sooner than when they actually dash. So long as you just go in circles, it's really not that bad. It just starts to become an issue when you get caught in between, like, two of them. Eh. I could do it, though. I could definitely do it. In fact, I could push... Like, this is the less scary of the three to actually push for time, since in all likelihood you're going to die to the disc you want to. Like, the biggest threat is the ones that dash at you, and, uh, you know, that's what you're trying to die to. So wait, I'm not fucking losing my mind, dude. 33, 39, 26, uh, last I checked... These add up to 90. I don't get it. I saw... When I was watching the speedrun, I saw the dude just straight up... I think he only did, like, the first three rooms. And, uh, it just unlocked this room because he survived over 90 seconds. Wait, fucking, you know what? Because I don't want to push this off to another stream. We are going to... What the fuck is this window that Steam opened up? There it is. Using a controller? No, actually. I unplugged it, but thanks for asking. Let me just fucking find the YouTube video again and see exactly what the dude does. Because... I, I'm clearly missing something, but... And now I can, I can credit the exact video I watched. And Mussy on YouTube. There you go. They, uh, let me see. They, in the first two minutes, they, they find themselves going to... And they died to these discs on purpose. Maybe you do actually have to have a connected room. I might be fucking stupid. But if that's the case, that makes all of the routing I just thought out in my head not matter at all. Let me see what they fucking do. Dude, YouTube, please. Like, I know I'm streaming at the same time, but you can you can load a video. I don't even know what, what fucking room are they in right now. Oh no, this is not the video that I originally watched. So this isn't actually gonna help at all, dude. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I <laughs> oh no. I swear to god, I saw someone do a video where they just had the the appropriate... Let's see if I just, like, instantly enter this room and die to, like, the same disc. Just so I'm adjacent? Okay. So it's just adjacency that matters. Not actually connected through corridors, but... If adjacency matters, that's still a big issue. Because that changes this from bare minimum three rooms to bare minimum four rooms. 
And this is starting to seem less and less possible. Especially because the way this room or this area works, you have to spend an additional four rooms. That's So you have to go one, two, three, four. You get this. That doesn't take a death. You get five, six probably. Uh, you unlock this room for free because it's adjacent to this. Cool. You automatically unlock these two rooms because they're both the same objective, so that chains you over here for free. But then you still have to do one, two, three, four deaths to get adjacent to the gatekeeper here. And I... That might not... I don't even think that's the gatekeeper! Isn't the gatekeeper here? If the gatekeeper's here, that's one, two, three, four, five rooms. Mandatory! Mandatory that you die on five rooms. So already we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of the twelve possible rooms you can die in? Uh starting to seem a little bit less possible. I guess, okay, here's the next thing to test, because this could change a lot, actually. This could, like, completely blow the routing out of the water and make things way easier than originally thought. Let's, uh, let's try it again. But instead of dying to a disc, let's see what happens if I exit to menu. Or not, not exit to menu, but, like, open the map. What does that do? I'm afraid it's not even going to unlock runes. That's my biggest fear. Well, sure, I'll, I'll take that death. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's, let's last for at least 10 seconds. And let's see. Let's see what happens if I just go to map. No, no, no. Like, go, go to map, though? <laughs> So, first off, even though I've survived more than 10 seconds, it still didn't unlock the room above me. But, more importantly, let's see if it brick the challenge. It didn't brick the challenge. Die from less than 12 different disc types. So that's legal. <laughs> we allow that. But it doesn't really help me that much, because... Even though I've met the requirement of getting above 10 seconds, it still didn't unlock the next room, because I didn't die in this room. Man! I'm... I'm out of ideas. Straight up. Very confused. Uh... Like, uh, this feels like a, an impossible puzzle. Like, just looking at my save file... Are there any shortcuts I can take here? No, because these two rooms you have to access from this room. Um... You really do have to go all the way through all five rooms, huh? That's, uh, seemingly impossible. <laughs> These two challenges, back to back, the, uh, die from less than 12 different disc types and never die from the same disc type twice. Seems to make getting all eight challenges just impossible. Or, if not impossible, like a very, not even difficult to do, but difficult to figure out what you're supposed to do, challenge. And especially the way that unlocking rooms works. Because I, I, I thought I was getting somewhere if you really could just unlock rooms anywhere in the zone. Because then, like, you know, technically you can just survive 90 seconds in the first room, go straight to the gatekeeper, and that's just one room out of the 12 allotted spent in this zone, which is great. 
I feel like that's how it should work. But the fact that you need to get an adjacent room... <sighs> like, even... <laughs> I don't know, man. That's four discs here. Minimum. Minimum you have to die to four discs. And then you survive here. This one's an easier zone. You can still do the two. I mean, technically, you could do it in just one, but it's probably gonna be two. I just don't know what to do when it gets to this part. Because, like, will I even have this room unlocked? I guess this is just for five, five seconds, which you would do in the Gatekeeper, right? But I don't know, does the gatekeeper unlock this one, or is, does it, do I have to survive five seconds in, like, one of these rooms? I don't know. I think I might have to, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of ambiguous, but uh, maybe not. Maybe I could, it would probably unlock this one by default, just by doing the overgrown gatekeeper. Uh, so yeah, you, you would only have to spend one or two rooms here. But still, that already puts you at 5 or 6 total. Then you unlock these zones. This one, you get adjacency pretty easily. Just survive 20 seconds in this room. But no, again! <laughs> I'm fucking losing it here. Because again... If you can't open the doors by leaving through the menu... You have to die to the disc in this room to progress. Right? Which, I mean, that room is obviously not going to be unlockable. Survive 20 seconds and 12 rooms, that's already a failed attempt. But this, this, if you die to the disc in this room, it gives you an ability, which... <laughs> ruins the other challenge. Okay. I mean, this one just says survive 10 seconds, but I, I, I feel like it only applies to connected rooms, probably. Yeah, it wouldn't apply, well, I wouldn't be able to go in this room anyways, so adjacency doesn't matter. Like, I, am I fucking losing it? <laughs> I would have to watch the video of the one person who did the, uh, just the one ability challenge. But, like, I... Yeah, I don't want to make a call-out post, but... I just find it much, much, much harder to believe that someone has already gotten all eight challenges. Unless it works entirely different than how I expected it to. I mean, maybe you just... Maybe it crosses over save files? Maybe it's literally... Impossible to get all eight of them on the same save file? But that seems kind of lame, doesn't it? That seems kind of lame to me. I might be looking at this in an entirely different light than it's meant to be looked at. It's possible that you really do just keep the challenges from save file to save file, but man, I don't want to believe that. That's so unfulfilling. I, I could test that just by getting one of the easier ones, like, fucking... Under 15 minutes probably won't be that hard. <sighs> yeah! Never die in under 10 seconds is probably another pretty easy one. Die from less than 12 different disc types. Yeah, never. No, uh, no, no, dude. I don't know. It just feels like it's set up in such a way that you're meant to do all of them at the same time. Or not meant to, but, like, you can, right? But, like, everything about the map layout says otherwise. Everything about this map layout seems to say it's impossible. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Bare minimum, absolute minimum amount of rooms to get to this gatekeeper. 
Well, no, okay. Absolute minimum is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, no, I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. I can count. Bare minimum is ten. But still, that's ten out of twelve, and there's two zones that haven't even been touched. Not to mention that the final zone, bare minimum, requires two. So technically, yes, that is your... <laughs> that's your twelve accounted for. And we haven't even talked about the final... Well, the second to last zone, I guess, but this zone on the right. It just doesn't seem possible. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot then, I guess. I'm gonna pivot to trying to just beat the game in under 15 minutes. And uh see if the challenges persist from save file to save file. You have no idea how sad that would make me though. Like I would be so fucking heartbroken. I want to get the speedrun challenge for under 15 minutes and have it tell me that on my main save file I still have 0 out of 8. Because I just want to believe it's possible, because that's so much cooler. <laughs> it's so much more interesting if you can string together some dumb fuck path through the game that lets you get all 8 challenges. I want to believe it's possible. I'm starting to lose hope very quickly. Alright, it probably starts timing you as soon as you hit yes here, so I'm going to start my timer there. Let's, uh, let's go for it, I guess. I don't know if it counts it as real time. I, it must count it as real time. Well, in-game time, I guess, but... Like, when you fast-forward it, I don't think it's fast-forwarding the timer for the 15 minutes. There you go. Like, dying doesn't really matter if I'm just going for the speedrun. Like, I, I still want decent times in these rooms, because I do need the 90 seconds as fast as possible. Wow, that sucked. Let's just keep going for it. Wow, that was close. <laughs> for this room, I don't feel very comfortable fast-forwarding too much. It's actually... It's way less scary to run next to these discs while they're charging up than I thought it would be. It's actually, like, one of the more safe places you could be standing right next to one and, like, rotating around it. Why am I going against the grain of the discs along the walls? That's so stupid. I should be running in the opposite direction, but it's too late to change. I didn't even get dash, so let me quickly just die here. I haven't unlocked, well, I, I don't think I've unlocked the gatekeeper yet. I haven't been paying attention to my time. But I'm just going to survive, like, you know, a mediocre amount of time in this room. And, well, that probably, yeah, that unlocked it. So let's go for it. My biggest time waste is probably going to be the last boss. So let's do everything else as fast as possible. Actually, my biggest time waste is probably going to be the, uh the left zone, the antibody zone, because I'm not the best at it. There you go, that's one. That was weird. Feeling pretty comfortable. Like, I don't know. I feel like... Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to say I feel like I'm good enough to do what I need to do for all eight challenges, if that really is possible, but, like, I, I feel close. I feel like with, you know, just the natural practice of going through a few attempts, I would, I would do better than I think most would think, <laughs> but I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem possible. Like, beating the game in only 12 deaths, which is basically what those two challenges outline. Oh, what? Oh, unlock two different abilities, I might as well. Please? Thank you. Uh, I, no, I don't want to swap to it, just let me go, please. 
I don't know, man. Just... The more I think about it, too, it just... I don't know. It really doesn't feel possible. Which is really upsetting. But, you know, I, I still hope to be proven wrong. I still hope to, uh... To be corrected by someone. Like, watch a video later of someone, uh doing a route that I had never considered. That's the dream. Dude. I suck. Oh, I really suck. I More so than anything on this boss, though, I just get impatient, and this is a pretty good demonstration of that. Pretty solid demonstration, Will. No, okay, just, just picked incorrectly which direction that disc was going to randomly rotate towards. I really shouldn't be using fast forward as much as I am, but eh, you know. It's uh it's too late. It's fucking goddamn it, dude. It's too late at this point. I've already committed. What am I I'm at five minutes already? Yikes. Not a good sign. Considering like bare minimum I have to spend two minutes in uh, dark zone. I guess fast forward will make that a little bit faster for me, but you know, only by so much, right? Fuck, dude. I feel like this is a reset. But I, I you know, might as well get the practice while I'm here. So like I said, I'm, I'm basically good enough for an all eight challenge run. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, though. I think I probably could do a seven challenge run, ignoring the 200% speed one. That was fucked up. Because, like, 200% speed is just an entirely different beast. But I feel like I at least understand the other challenges and uh, could complete them if the game allowed it. But I don't know, man. I'm starting to have doubts that the game allows it. I'm starting to have my, uh, my doubts. You definitely wouldn't want to see this on, uh, on an attempt, though. Some might call it pathetic. Wow, dude. Just just have no control over myself right now. Cool. Solid speedrun. Fifteen minutes is, is tighter than I thought it was going to be. And, you know, th that would have to be considered on a seven challenge run, too, so... Fuck. Why can't- why is this boss so fucking hard for me? It really shouldn't be. But I struggle with it so much more than I do with the other ones. The Phantom one actually is like a joke. Like, I don't even need to think about practice- wow. I don't even need to think about practicing the Phantom one. I didn't think that would hit me. Forgive me. <laughs> no, dude. You think it's possible? Oh, shit. It might actually be possible to get a full 10 seconds in the first phase. I think it's not, though. Like, you can hover ever so gently on the border. Which gets you a very quick cycle. It's a little bit scary, though. As you can imagine. Just die. Thank you. That was really sad. I don't want to think about it. So why this? Oh, because, oh, because lower reasons, that's why. <laughs> okay, so that's still, yes, that did what I thought it would. 
It unlocked these two rooms, and it unlocked these two rooms. Uh, I should be going fast, though, shouldn't I? Yes, I would like to go here. Uh, so I really do just want to survive ten seconds, and then... Sure, eat me. Oh, f why? Just fucking whatever, get the ability, who cares? I need to collect orbs as quickly as possible. Because, uh, potentially could spawn less of these other discs in. If I'm quick enough. That's the dream. Cool. Just spawned it directly on top of him. I mean, yes, you know, impatience, but also, like, you kind of need to be impatient, or you're just going to be living with 300 of these guys. What the fuck? Why did that feel like the longest 10? It felt like the past 5 orbs I picked up were the 10th. Ah, I don't know, man. This, uh... I mean, it's definitely not good to do what I'm doing for speedrun. I was still thinking about challenge runs, because, you know, that's that's on my brain. 15 is good enough. Twelve and a half is, uh, minimum, technically. But unfortunately, in this world, you can't pick up half an orb. So that was really good. I got it so he only made two waves of uh, sea urchins. Which makes this, like, a super fucking easy orb zone. Okay, I was afraid he was going to do that. I was afraid he was going to come back. Truth be told, he does. He does come back at 20. I think the first time I saw that was Lobotomy, because I never grinded out the individual antibody rooms. Too much. Cool. I mean, technically I could have gotten away with just eight, but... You probably want to be higher. I did, like, more than cover it on the last three, but still. Trying to make it easier on myself in the next room. Good enough. I need, like, hardly any orbs here. I haven't been paying attention to how many I've been picking up exactly, but... I've got a fair amount. Like, 10 is probably fine, but even that was fine. 9 is good. There you go. And I have, like, no time left for uh, for my 15-minute challenge. So, looking good. Looking good. I did first try this guy in my practice, but... It's still pretty difficult. Getting able to uh, to run through him like that is definitely nice. Dude, why, why, why'd I have such an easier time of this? When I practiced him. I just kind of like leisurely strolled through it. He wasn't chasing me this fucking hard at all! I guess I got lucky. Yeah, this guy is an aggressive dickhead. I, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, no. Do what you want, I guess. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. When you pick up orbs, it, uh, it always makes it worse for you when you're standing next to him. Shouldn't have done that either. It didn't end up that bad, thankfully. I wish he wasn't standing on top of literally all the orbs I needed, but sure. The 
The faster you can get out of this, the better. The discs he makes are so weird. They like bounce two or three times and like constantly spew out mini projectiles. Strange disc. I'm like not going to be able to consistently do that run through strat though, because you have to be running instantly. And if you're coming in through the door, which you probably would be most of the time, you know, on your first try here, you're going to be slightly farther away, and I don't think it's going to be possible. Not to get all of them, at least. You'd have to, like, dash midway through. That was close. Barely. Eh, this feels like a bad place to be. I continue that statement. It's just very fun when the boss decides it's going to sit on top of the only orbs you need to pick up. It's one of my favorite things. The boss takes up a solid, like, 20% of the screen at all times. That might be generous, even. Nah, 20% seems about right. Oh, cool. I did see the teeth, I just didn't think you would hit me from there. Where do you even get Blast? I'm trying to think about where you get that. Oh, you don't get that until the final area, right? Yeah, wow. So that ability is completely off the table. But I was thinking, like, hmm, Blast might be nice here. Unfortunately, not in the cards. What do you do? I, I was trying so fucking hard to move there. Like, get out of the corner. It just, every single fucking escape route was being blocked. Not entirely, but it felt like it. It felt like it. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good one. Good one. Did uh, one more stutter step than I meant to, because I'm brain dead. Yeah, that was fun. Every single orb I picked up kept changing the boss's directory on top of me. I just hate the way this fucker moves. Like, you just don't have a say in it if he's standing on top of orbs you need to pick up. It, it could be an entire fucking lifetime before he decides to move out of the way. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, not my best decision. I'll own up to that one. That one was on me. He just turns when he wants to. He fucking slows down and dashes when he wants to. He just actually makes up his own rules as to how his AI works. JW didn't code this one. Yeah, he just got it started, and the boss finished it himself. <sighs> okay. Going good. I'm, uh, I'm past 15 minutes, if you couldn't already tell. So I don't even know why I'm still going, right? Like, I failed, I failed, yep, failed challenge. It is pretty accurate to real time. A little bit lower than real time, thankfully, but... Not by much. Okay. Mm, spilled water. Awesome. Incapable of dodging discs. Incapable of drinking water. <sighs> okay. Let's, uh, let's try.
try this again. New game. It probably starts the timer there, after you get through that cutscene, if I had to guess, which is why it was off by like two seconds. But that's a lot harder to time, from, uh, from my standpoint. I could do better in these earlier areas. I'm not using fast forward at all. I completely forgot that that was an option in trying to save time. And I'm dead. Oh, wow. And I'm dead. All right, good enough. The more you hold down fast forward, the better. Pretty much all situations, because when you don't really care about, you know, only dying to a certain amount of discs, makes things a lot easier on you. Who would have thought? If you can die more than 12 times total in the run, things start looking a lot better. Why does it feel so much harder to dodge in that direction than it did when I'm going against the grain? No, I'm just unlucky this time. Wow. The discs are just constantly on the edge, fucking me over. Awesome. That's what you like to see. Still, I lasted a decent amount of time in the first few rooms that... Oh, nope, still not good enough. Uh, wow. Let's, let's last more in here. We could save time here pretty easily. That was close. Honestly, didn't think I was gonna make that. I should stop holding fast forward as much as I am when it's getting me killed as much as it is, but... Whatever. That's good enough? Yes, that's good enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> you don't fast forward in this room, you just go. I'm stupid. Yeah, I wanted that. Probably shouldn't have gone for it as much as I did there. There you go. I pick up Orb, and this is where it actually picks up a bit. Starts to become a real challenge. Nothing too bad, but maybe, you know what, just to, to make things feel a little bit nicer for me, I'll mix it up by going to the... Oh, you know what? Fuck that room. I hate that room. Just die to slow-mo guy. So I get... Okay, cool. Just die to slow-mo guy is the thing. Um, God, I hate how awkward it is that it forces you to switch abilities. But uh, I'll, I'll mix it up and go to dark area instead of meat area this time around. Whatever. Okay, I, I need to do a little bit better than this. I, uh... Yeah, I'm not playing my best right now. Dude. I still hate these fucking jerk guys. They're just so fucking hard to read. Uh, yeah, let's survive more than ten seconds here. That's not that bad. Like, I did decent on the first room in this area, and then I was just like, eh, who cares? Two seconds, that's good enough. Throw it away. Still not good enough. Okay, I can do more than two seconds in this room. Two seconds is a little on the low side. Okay, this is probably good enough for the boss. Yeah. I'm trying to go to the bosses as soon as possible still. There's no reason to stay otherwise. Wasn't getting time there, unfortunately. I was trying to. It's way easier to tell your hitbox if you go to like the top side. Feels less scary. Since I imagine your hitbox is probably closer to your feet in shadow than it is to your head. Well, that was way better. I wasted so much time there last time. Alright, and then let's just go here. 
So how does this work? Yeah, okay. It's it's like I don't even know where it went. I whoa, okay. See what I'm talking about? Oh, and this isn't even in increasing time. Like, can you? Let's see. Can I leave without it giving me the ability and it makes the room normal or? No. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know how you avoid getting that ability then. Whatever. Just everything about the challenge run doing all eight is just seemingly impossible. I'll let my dreams die. I'll let my dreams die. Oh fuck, I need to last 20 seconds in this room. Because the room to the right is so easy to last a long time on. Oh cool. Still hate this area. It's easier than the meat area. It still hurts my eyes. It's still a not fun mechanic to me. I am uh, I'm not the biggest fan of you can't see, haha. When at all possible, I, I definitely prefer vision. This is a pretty easy room to fast forward on to. Going well. Already at 30 seconds. Above 30 is where I'd want to be. So I've already met my goal. Yeah, that's safe. We find safe spots. This might beat my actual, like, normal best time. Nope. Completely fucking walled. Oh well. Uh, oh, this is the one where you just can't see it all. Fun. I think I'll pass on that one. I'll probably have to do it, but... Oh yeah, and I, I hate this one too. I, I have to start using slow. It's just, like, kind of mandatory in this area. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I, more and more am thinking, like, you just can't fucking do this game with all eight challenges on. Like, unless he, like, entirely changed the map layout and, like, unlock criteria, it just doesn't seem possible. What, what is this room? Oh, this is timeless, so I don't know why I'm trying to get time there. Yeah, fine, fuck it, I'll do perfect arc, I guess. I, I, it doesn't even help being able to see for, like, a millisecond, like... I, whoa, pff, how did... Pff, I hate this fucking room. Like, yeah, I get it, it's kind of cool conceptually. Like, haha, but also, like, haha, it, oh, fuck, haha, he pressed the Windows button. Haha, it's still bad. Uh. Like, uh, why does it also still flash black? Like, that just seems insult to injury, right? You already can't fucking see. Why do you have to make the limited amount of vision I am paying for with my life? Survive 20 seconds in 12 rooms. Die over... Uh, ha, ha, ha. I kind of have to... Well, uh, yeah, I kind of have to survive 10 seconds in this room if I want to progress. Yeah, but it's like huge insult to injury that also sometimes when you use your ability to see, you're just going to not see. Fuck you. There you go. I did it. Great red spot. This is another really easy one to survive on, so... Yeah, my time's not looking so hot, though. 
still have to do the entire of meat zone and the entire final zone. I uh, don't think I'm going to get sub-15 here, buddy. I think I'm already good enough to go the boss, though. Yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't be on slow, though. Phantom Gatekeeper really is a complete joke, though. No fast strat that time. If you just dash through him, you're you're pretty safe. There he is. Come on, buddy. I do hate the waiting. Waiting isn't my favorite mechanic. There you go. Okay. Uh, that's another one down. I'm not doing this in sub-15, holy shit. Not on this run. Not even close, really. I almost completely fucked it there. Whoops, just fucking go for it. I don't know why I was so hesitant. Cool. Spawn the perfect fucking camp spot for that guy. Nah, yeah, nah. Like, if you get unlucky with some of the orb spawns, you just feel so fucked. I don't know, man. I know I am whiny baby, and that's fair. I understand. I gotta stop doing that, though. I, I just need to go instantly. But, like, especially when you need to be going for the time, it's just like... It's so unbelievably easy sometimes if you get lucky with the orbs. And on this time, I did not get very lucky with the orbs, so... He got three waves instead of the two I had last time. I'll wait. Don't worry about it, I'll wait. Speed run, by the way, haha. <laughs> it is nice that uh, it starts spawning two orbs in after you get the first carcass. This is my new PB on this room. Double carcass action. It does not spawn a third orb, unfortunately. But I'm pretty close to the 50 required. However, because I don't have an adjacent room... Well, actually, no, because I'm going to unlock the next room. So technically, you would only need to do three rooms, not four rooms in this area. Because I'll unlock the room to the left of me by getting ten here. And since I'll have it unlocked, like, I don't have to go into it to get to the boss. I forgot about that. It's still not that great. But, I don't know, maybe it gives me a little bit more hope towards the... The, the possibility of an all eight challenge run. Dude. Come on. D I definitely still not getting sub 15 here. Probably don't want to fail 30 fucking times on, uh, on the antibodies, if I had to guess. Second antibody seems really easy to to get a shit ton, though. So there you go. Oh! Actually, no! The game just makes up its own rules! Collect 50 orbs total in the zone! 50 out of 50! Actually, not good enough. Not good enough for this guy. You still have to throw a death away in there for literally no reason. Cool. 
understood. The game continues to make up its own rules. It's still really fucking hard. It's, uh... It's not as free as I would like it to be to kill this guy. Like, I can be very, 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 very slow and careful, but, you know, I'm still trying to go fast here, obviously. But yeah, the goal is sub-15. <laughs> that's, uh, seeming ever far out of reach. Every passing second. Especially every passing second past 15 minutes on the clock. Uh... Yep, just got fucking hard targeted there, and there's not much I could do. He was also camping over the orbs in the top left corner of the screen for about a century. So, definitely within my control. Like, it is nice that they give you multiple orbs, but as you get closer to the goal, like, it never makes more orbs than required to reach the goal. So, like, it might be spawning ten orbs at a time at the start of the fight, but then when there's only seven orbs left to win, there's only going to be seven orbs left on the ground, and it's not going to spawn anymore, you know? So if it's just hard camping the final orbs that you need, have fun. Have fun not winning this time. Not quickly, at least. Well, that was nice until my dash didn't go off quite how I wanted it to. Like a frame off on that one. Uh, I, I I really do think that at this point, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to... I, 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 you can't just go around saying, like, that's bullshit, right? Like, that's, you know. All I'm saying is that if the dude who got all eight challenges is real, where's the proof? That's all I'm saying. It's just, it, it's just, uh, it's, the thing is, it's just too fast, you know? Like, they, they got it too quickly after the game was released for me to be like, yeah, okay. They probably got it legitimately. But, you know, they probably could have. I'm not the best gamer out there. Far from it. It's just like, it was within like the first week or two of the game's release. I mean, the game is still like within the first month of its release. And, uh... Yeah, getting, getting all eight challenges, especially like, this is me still under the assumption that you have to do them all on the same run. Which may or may not be possible at all. But if you really do have to do all of them on the same run, I, I, I feel fairly confident that I don't think that was a legitimate screenshot. And if it was, then sick. Congratulations. But I would love to see the proof. That's all I'm saying. If, uh, if it really is just cumulative across all save files, though, then I'd just believe it straight up. That doesn't even seem that hard. The 15 minutes one is... well, no, there's some other hard ones. Like, dying less than 30 times. But, I mean, if you're good enough to do it in 15 minutes, you're probably good enough to die less than 30 times. Unlike me... I don't even think practicing this guy would help me out that much, because there's a lot of randomness associated with it. I mean, the main thing is just I need to be a little bit more patient. Gets the better of me sometimes. 
the greed, that is. I need to not pick up orbs when it's coming in my direction, because that could easily steer it even closer to my direction. I need to be careful about that exact thing that just happened right there. I was kind of fucked, though. I just decided to go towards them. Yeah, see, the thing that I'm doing right here, not, not a good idea. Literally just, like, nudge the boss towards me every step of the way. But I, sometimes, because there's so many fucking orbs on the ground, sometimes it's like your literal only escape path. You kind of have to go over orbs. Makes it a little tricky sometimes. Not always the easiest to just say, I'm not going to touch orbs. Nah. <laughs> nah. I really don't understand this guy's movement, though. It's so fucking erratic. I think it's entirely erratic because of the orbs, but I, I can't tell. He also might just be changing his direction sometimes. It's hard to notice, especially because I'm always picking up orbs, so... I never have a, a clean control group to look at. It's just the board becomes so fucking messy. With all of the projectiles being spit out. And just moving around is so difficult. Let alone trying to, like, kite the boss in a way. I, I don't even think you can kite the boss. I think his movement is static outside of the orbs. But again, I'm not 100% on that. See, I got so fucking lucky that time. It was, it was kind of gifted to me on a platter. That was a really risky last orb grab, but it worked out. Oh, yeah, eat me. Sure. Uh, okay... What? Really? Apparently, I, uh, you don't unlock the survive 10 seconds in this room by normally doing the gatekeeper. You would think that that would uh, come with the territory, but I guess not. I mean, this shouldn't be too bad. There you go. Let me through... And wait, what? Defeat four? Uh, that's so fucking weird that some rooms require you to enter and just die instantly for no reason. I, I just, I don't know. The, uh... The unlocks for rooms just seem, like, weirdly inconsistent and... Make their own rules every now and then? Oh, wow. Getting, yeah, getting 90 seconds in this zone. Alone. In under 15 minutes. Not going to be my favorite. Let's, uh, fuck that room forever. This room's a little bit... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say this one's more my speed. <laughs> I changed my mind. I changed my mind. It's so weird that you get blast from the phase ones. Doesn't really fit to me. I have to survive 10 seconds to unlock another room. This one really shouldn't be that hard, but whatever. I'll accept that. See, like, what? Wh this one? Oh no, this is the I one. <laughs> Never mind. I was like, why does this one have dark tiles? This one's supposed to have dark tiles. It's a puzzle. It's one that I've already done. Okay, thank you. I forget, what room is this? Doesn't matter. Please, though? I would like to touch tile. Wow, that's, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. I, uh, I would not have the best of times grinding out some of these areas. I don't even think I touched that guy, but sure. 90 seconds in this zone. Whew. 
I just, I, I no longer feel like I'm cut out for any of the fucking challenges, dude. 15 minutes is a little bit harder than originally anticipated. Oops. I knew I would be fine. Like, if you kind of Bruce, brute, Bruce Fort, if you kind of brute force some of these, uh, not really caring about how many times you're dying, I mean, I've survived for decades in this room, so I really should be qualified. Thinking that, uh, the way you get the golden disc in this room was just insanely difficult. Turns out it's not. Just got the dev time for no reason. This is definitely my most survived in room in the zone. Still stupid. I am, uh, I'm still stupid though. My consistency isn't quite there. Nice. 20 seconds is where you want to see yourself on the reg. Alright, so here we are. Survive 20 seconds in this room, and then you just unlock the boss. You still have to kill the boss. This is a pretty easy room, though. Well, <laughs> easier said than done, I guess. How do these guys even work? I think they just... They're the same as the dash guys, but they have a shorter dash charge-up time or something. I don't fully understand it. And they also have a shorter cooldown on dash. I think that's it. There you go. And boss time. So I, I'm finishing... Okay! Okay! Damn! I'm not trying to go that far! It's, uh, it's the, the problem with the fucking digital input! Jesus! The hitbox on this guy. I, I guess it's not really the hitbox I'm complaining on, but I, I... Like, most of the other... Guardians... What are they called? Not Guardians. Yeah, are they Guardians? Whatever they're fucking called. Have, like, a gatekeeper. There you go. Stop gatekeeping, bro. Most of them have, like, a little bit more of a, like, spawn initiation time before they start doing their shit. Not this guy, he just instantly fucks you. There you go. Not bad. Maybe a little bit quicker here. Already wasted a decent amount of time. That was almost horrible. Abysmal, even. Dude, I'm brain dead. I hate the way the fight starts, though. It's so awkward feeling. Like I, I wanna, I wanna pick up tiles immediately, but just crunch my bones the second I spawn. So awkward feeling. Walking diagonally makes it a little bit better, but I still go farther out than I want to. Cool. Still wish these tiles were updated to be a little bit chunkier. Cool. Because, like, I feel like I touched the corner of that tile, but was not given it. Again, I am a whiny baby. I understand this. It's fact. Alright, probably not the best strategy of not going back for that while it was convenient, but hand out anyways. Just be careful. Like, this is the easiest part of the fight, or it should be. It really should be. Uh, yeah, so I beat it just under double the amount of time I needed to. Fuck. Not a not a good sign.
Not what I was hoping for. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I missed that frame of that goopy boy. I, I remember the frame of their face melting off, but not the goop lord. I really like that. Alright, here we go. Goodbye, clone. So brave. Um, unskippable. Fast forward. There you go. That helps. <laughs> Double fast forward? Holy shit! I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> That's funny. And horrifying. Because that probably works in gameplay, also. 29-39. Again. I didn't do any challenges, right? Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let's try again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna assume that's the start time. Uh, he hello. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, Donald. To the super unfortunate circumstance. Thanks for the raid, buddy. I uh, I saw you playing uh, Lion King a little bit earlier. I popped in for a few minutes, watched a singular run before I started my stream. How'd that go for you? Any sick times? I didn't see how the run I was watching ended. Also, I probably not the best time to ask a question because it's gonna be a little bit till I can look. But, oh yeah, you definitely can double fast forward. You heard I'm a pretty cool guy. You you heard wrong, Dick. I I don't know. I, don't fuck around with the double fast forward. That's just not a good idea. It is funny that you can do that, though. Yeah, you, you heard incorrectly. But... What I'm trying to do here is, uh, you know, I should probably reset already because I wasn't really paying attention to those first two rooms, but I'll keep it going. Uh, originally, you know what, I am going to reset so I can explain this. My goal here, let me, uh, let me go back to my actual save file so I can show you all of the rooms in this game. So, there's a lot of rooms in this game. All of them have discs in them. My goal for the start of the stream was uh, originally to attempt to do all of these challenges in a single run of the game. Uh, the more I look into it, the less it feels like it's actually possible. For, well, two challenges. Two challenges in specific make it go from very, very difficult to actually I think this is impossible. Those two challenges are die from less than 12 different disc types, and never die from the same disc type twice. Meaning, you know, if you work that through in your head, you can figure out that means you're only allowed to die 12 times. Uh, now the problem is, in order to progress in this game, you have to die in a room. Like, doors into other rooms will not open up unless you die in that room. Uh, so bare minimum, to get from this point at the very bottom of the screen, to this point at the very top, which is the end of the game, you have to somehow navigate there in 12 or less deaths. Now the problem is, to get into this zone at all, you need to defeat four gatekeepers. There's one here, 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 and here. And I know what you're thinking immediately is, wow, those rooms are really far apart. How the fuck are you supposed to navigate there in less than 12 deaths? And, uh, I, I think the answer is just straight up it's not possible, unfortunately. So, I started today thinking that if you had a zone unlocked, and zones are like 3x3 three three areas, uh, so like this is the first zone, this is the second zone. Uh, this and this are third slash fourth zone, and this is the fifth and final zone. 
I had assumed that if you had a zone unlocked, meaning you had entrance to it, via, for this zone you need to defeat one gatekeeper, and for these zones you need to defeat two gatekeepers, I thought if you had a zone unlocked, and you had the criteria for the gatekeeper unlocked, you could just go to the gatekeeper regardless of whether you were connected to it by the pathways, like you see rooms have pathways through them. Unfortunately, not the case. If that was the case, then, you know, theoretically, you could survive in the very first room for 90 seconds, go straight to the boss, you don't actually have to die on the bosses, so then you could go straight to here with only one death so far, survive 60 seconds in this room, go straight to the gatekeeper with only two deaths so far, because defeating the gatekeeper, like, directly unlocks these areas, you could go straight into this room, uh, do the criteria for this one, which is slightly different, you have to collect 50 orbs, collect 50 orbs in this room, so that's two deaths instead of one, that still brings your total up to four, which is reasonable. Uh, go into this room, I'm gonna ignore the other problem with this room, and just say, survive 120 seconds in this room, that's a fifth death, you get that gatekeeper. Come into here, survive 90 seconds in this room to unlock this room. Because uh, this is like a local unlock, not a global unlock. You see it says survive 20 seconds, not survive 20 seconds in this zone. So you would have to come into this room, that's six deaths. Survive 20 seconds in this room, seven deaths, beat the game. That's how I thought it was going to route out, which is very complicated. Like, even getting to that level of understanding was, like, some work required. But turns out that's just not how it works. Um, you cannot unlock a room unless you are adjacent to it. Regardless of pathways. So, like, say I had routed all the way up here and survived 90 seconds. Even if I didn't die from four disc types to unlock this room, I could still go into this room, because I'm adjacent to it. Like, the pathway doesn't matter. You have to be adjacent, though. So that brings it down from bare minimum one room in this area to bare minimum four rooms, okay? Now, already, that's one-third of the required deaths to, to still successfully get the challenges. Uh, it's starting to seem a little less possible, right? Still, because this is adjacent to the gatekeeper, you could still survive 60 seconds in this room, so that brings you up to 5. Uh, you have to do a mandatory death in this room, that's 7. But here's the biggest issue. This gatekeeper is so fucking far away from the start that that brings you up to 8, 9, 10, 11 required rooms before you can get to the gatekeeper. And at that point... <laughs> Like, we already know, bare minimum, it takes two rooms to get to this gatekeeper, so you've already lost. Like, it's already not possible. And the thing I skipped over in this room is that, uh... One of the challenges is... Where is it? Unlock only one ability. It's the fourth challenge there. I still don't understand how you're supposed to beat the game with only one ability. Because when you enter this room it forces an ability onto you. Like, this room does not progress normally. Like, you see right now, here it is going normally. That's not how that room looks the first time you enter it. The first time you enter this room, there's just a single disc that fucking chases you at light speed and uh, forces you to, to, to get a second ability. So I don't even know how you enter this area, honestly. I have no clue. Is what room 100% required? All of the rooms I've gone over, like, in a theoretical, bare minimum deaths run, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, the forced ability room? Yeah, it is required. Because this room also, like, you unlock this room by getting two different abilities, so already that bricks your adjacency, like you can't get adjacent to that corner. This room, you have to die from 15 disc types, so that kills another challenge, you can't get adjacent to this room. 
for this one, survive five seconds in all unlocked rooms, you can basically say that that one's not possible, because by this point, you've unlocked a lot of rooms already that you're trying to avoid going into at all. So you would have more rooms unlocked than you do have five seconds in. So that adjacency is impossible. And this is another dive from 45 disc types. That adjacency is possible. The only actual entrance to this area is through this room. So you, you straight up have to go in here. Um, I did see a video of someone who was not going for all of the challenges, but was just going for the unlock one ability challenge. And they did something buggy looking. Like, they died to the disc that gives you the ability, but then, like, with the... Because, like, the way it works is the disc touches you, but doesn't kill you immediately. And then I think they got touched by the disc. So, like, imagine I got touched by the disc. It didn't kill me immediately. I think they, like, left the room and then quickly died in a different room before the thing could, like, burst out of their stomach alien style, which is what happens, and uh, give them the ability. And then maybe it works like normal, but I tried that and it didn't work, so either they patched it out or... I don't know. You are not able to discard an ability. So... The thing is... Technically, you don't need to get the ability in this room, which is what I have been using I've basically been assuming that's like required is that you get the ability in this room technically you can avoid the ability in this room but actually wait let me think about that this might straight up brick it from being impossible or brick it from being possible I guess because you know assuming you still can't die to discs more than one time right you come into this room, the only discs that spawn are the normal discs and those wall discs. You can't die to the normal disc because in the first area of the jungle, the only discs that spawn are normal discs and slow-mo discs. You can't die to the slow-mo discs because they give you an ability. So... That means in this room, you have to die to the wall disc. So let's pretend, hey, I did it, I died to the wall disc. In this room, you have to die to a big disc. Okay, I did it. But then you come to this room, the only two discs are the ones that give you an ability and wall discs. And you can't die to the wall discs a second time. So I think it's straight up impossible to get all eight challenges on the same run, the way I thought it was. Um... Which is kind of a bummer. <sighs> like, I... The way this is set up seems so perfectly barely possible, but still possible. And I was really hoping that the game would force you to do some absurd routing to somehow get all eight challenges on the same run. Unfortunately... I kind of think it's just not possible. Unless I'm just misunderstanding something. And like to show you, I'll go into a new run because I also tested this. <laughs> Write a strongly worded email, I'll think about it. There's also, like this is another thing that makes me think maybe it still is possible. Because I don't know why the game would do this if it wasn't possible. I don't know, it just seems weird. So like, started a brand new game, right? Uh, by default, the game does have an option of just unlocking zones. Uh, now you see here, I still have all of my challenges perfectly possibly beatable. But then I go into difficulty and just start unlocking the zones. Because, like, technically that means I could just go straight from the first room to the last boss, right? But immediately upon doing that, it invalidates all challenges. So, I feel like it somehow is possible to do all of these at the same time. Which is why my, my current objective, since I kind of gave up, since I don't understand how to route 100% challenges, is uh, I was just trying to get one of the challenges to see if I go to a different save file, 
if uh, it says 1 out of 8 in the save file that I didn't get the challenge on, or if it says 0 out of 8. I mean, it's possible. I just don't fully understand how room unlocking works, because some rooms unlock in really strange ways. Um, like, some rooms don't care if you're adjacent to them at all. Like, these golden rooms, like, you'll see, they didn't even unlock when I unlocked all of the zones. Uh, these rooms don't care if you're adjacent at all, I'm pretty sure. Like, say that I... That's 15. I don't know. Let's, let's go for the 45, because that's reasonable. Say that I died to 45 discs, somehow avoiding these two rooms adjacent to it. I'm pretty sure you would still unlock this room. But I mean, obviously that doesn't actually help the challenge run, because the bare minimum for the golden rooms is die from 15 disc types, which already invalidates the you can only die to 12 disc types challenge. But there's still a lot of, like... I don't know. There's a lot of rooms that you would feel... Like, I still don't understand why the gatekeepers don't unlock unless you're adjacent to them. Like, it would make so much more sense to me if you could just get 90 seconds in the first room and go straight to the gatekeeper. Because that means, like, even if you don't get 90 seconds in the first room, say you get 45 seconds here, 45 seconds here, that's still just two deaths, which is way more possible than the required four deaths. Because you need adjacency. Like, what it would look like if you didn't need to be adjacent to the gatekeepers is, like, two deaths here, go straight to gatekeeper. Like, two deaths here, go straight to gatekeeper. Already, that's four deaths, which is an improvement on the bare minimum five deaths that you need with adjacency. And that's bare minimum. It would probably look more like six. Uh, and then you go into this room, you have to take a death here, so that's five. You probably are going to need two of these antibody rooms, so that's six and seven. Go straight to the gatekeeper. Again, I don't really understand the infrared, but let's pretend you can get past this without getting an ability. That's one, two, three, four. So that's probably going to look like eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's still really fucking hard, though. Because <laughs> that, that already bricks it from being possible. Because that would be 12, 13. You could cut it down one more if you're really fucking good, but even still, it's like barely possible. Like really, really fucking hard, even without the adjacency thing. I don't know, man. I, uh... Pfft. I think it's actually impossible. It, it... There might be some ridiculous route that I'm not considering, but... I don't know. I think it's actually just impossible. Let's, uh, let's continue. I'm gonna keep theorizing. Simply get really good. I'll work on that. I'm gonna keep, uh, trying to get the sub-15. Because... If I am correct in that assumption, then... When I finish this run... Uh... On my main save file, which currently has all of the challenges crossed out because I failed them. Like, I've, I've already, you know, bricked the possibility of ever reaching the game in under 15 minutes, and, you know, I've already died to more than 12 disc types, etc. All of the challenges are showed crossed out on my main save file. If I get under 15 minutes, go to my main save file, and see that under 15 minutes has changed from crossed out to like, actually gold, and shows that I unlocked it, then that just means that it's not possible, and the game doesn't expect you to do all the challenges on the same run. Which would be upsetting. Because I just think it's way more interesting and cool that way, but whatever. If that's just not how it was actually designed, then that's not how it was actually designed. Which is fine. I, uh, I just think it would be cooler if you could do all the challenges on the same run. I made this a little bit hard on myself. I also died way too quickly on those other rooms, so... I'm gonna have to, like, really extend the time on this room. And probably still have to redo one of the other rooms. I'm trying to use 
<laughs> well, that was a bad use of fast forward. I'm trying to use fast forward whenever possible because uh, the game, like for the 15 minute timer, it tracks it like, I mean, I, I say real time, technically it's still in game time, obviously, but it's closer to real time than like the other timers in the game. Like you look at the room timer at the top left corner of the screen there, that is actually fast forwarded when I hit the fast forward button, but it does not fast forward the 15 minute timer, which means uh, you can push your timer in game like on a room basis faster than the uh, the speed run timer. I, I explained this in the worst way possible, but you know what? Fuck it. Just <laughs> this run is already basically dead. Can I just? How have I not gotten over 90 seconds? Am I really that bad? Don't answer. I already know the answer. That has to be 90 seconds by this point. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm not the best at explaining things while dodging disc, believe it or not. It is still... wow. Not a good sign that I died to the first gatekeeper. Twice. It's still a really good game, regardless of... You know, I'm just gonna reset this one. Regardless of whether all challenges are actually beatable uh, at the same time. Still, very good game worth buying. Even if what I want to be possible is actually impossible. I think that's just me being a dummy, though. Like, probably makes more sense that the challenges aren't all possible at the same time. It's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. Wow, that I have to redo this room. Oh, please let me go back in. Game is forcing me to go to a different room. All right, I'm just gonna reset that one again. This is this is back to the Lion King days. Now I'm the one playing Lion King. But it, it's frustrating how like when you read all of the challenges without thinking about it too hard, they seem so specifically set out such that it's barely possible, but still possible to do all of them at the same time. So I don't know, I, I feel like I've wasted so much brain power theorizing how it would be possible, and it's just like, it's upsetting to come to the conclusion that it probably just actually is impossible. I just, I so desperately want it to. <laughs> it's, it's gambler's fall. it's not gambler's fall. it's sunk cost fallacy. That's the one. I put so much into this, it can't fail. The the idea of double fast forward is frightening. Alright, let's not fast forward on this room. This room actually requires a little bit of focus. Fuck, dude! I'm gonna have to redo this one, I know it. Wait, oh, I also didn't die to the dash disc, so I would have had to redo it to get dash anyways. I was wondering why the animation didn't play. It all makes sense. I didn't actually get the ability. And by the way, one of the challenges I haven't even talked about uh, brings it from being <laughs> just barely possible to... Eh, like... Even if the routing stuff was possible, just, like, accomplishing the task would be really, really, really fucking close to impossible. Because uh, routing issues aside, one of the challenges is also just play the game on 200% speed, which, believe it or not, is, uh, is a little bit fast. It's a little bit quick. You do not have a lot of time to think. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I really should have assumed that, uh... It wouldn't be possible to do all of them at the same time. I was just hoping for way too long. Too much blind hope.
but oh well. I'll get over it. You only have to survive <laughs> 60 seconds in the zone, which is much, much easier. This is like the most forgiving zone time-wise. Which, I don't know, also led me to believe, like, wow, who? They, they actually did think about doing all challenges at the same time, because of how, like, if you were doing an all-challenge run, then technically you would have to get those 60 seconds with only two rooms, because you can't access the room to the right of you in this zone, because it requires getting two abilities. Wow, this is the best I've done in this room. Cool. Um, but yeah, like, you see I can't go to the right without getting two abilities, so... I don't know, that was another thing that made me think, that makes sense why the second gatekeeper requires you to get less time than the first gatekeeper. It's because if you were doing an all-challenge run, you would only have two rooms as opposed to, like, the four or five if you were doing it in the first area. I mean, you would still not want to spend four or five rooms in the first area, but you could. Okay, I need to get above 30 seconds here. I need to get 33 or something? Please don't. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Whatever, just get the fucking slow ability. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm still doing the fucking all-challenge run. Wasted too much time by doing that. There you go. Now this boss is greed central. This boss is where you, you really show off how greedy you can be. Because you can just barely touch the inner ring when the boss is fully occupying it. Not a good idea. It's just risky for no good reason. But it is possible, so I keep trying to do it. To get like a slight little lead on the next phase. You still have to do four cycles no matter what. Like, the dream is skipping an entire cycle, but I don't actually think that's possible. It's, like, really fucking hard, if even possible. I think the answer is just it's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. No chance. You can shorten the amount of time required to go the next cycle by staying in as long as possible, but it doesn't even help out that much. I hate the fucking spinny saw blades. They're so unpredictable. I hesitate to call them complete bullshit, but that's what I feel in the center of my heart. That's what I feel. Probably be easier to get closer if I was using analog, but I just it's not worth getting used to playing the game on controller. It'd just be a waste of time. I trust my keyboard abilities. There are some things that are made slightly harder on keyboard, but it's not that big of a deal. While you lose a little bit of functionality, you gain back in precision, and I would rather have the precision. I typically do prefer digital input. I didn't used to. I used to always prefer controller for, like, every game. Well, not every game. I guess I wouldn't be playing, like, a fucking RTS on controller, but... Most games that nowadays I would fucking puke at thinking about playing on controller. Like any sort of platformer with any sort of precision. Just like, no. No, no, no. No chance I'm doing that on controller. Who are you kidding? But I used to. Probably Super Meat Boy's fault, honestly. I did play Super Meat Boy on controller when I played it the other day. Just because that is, uh, you know, what I'm used to for that game in particular. But can you blame me? The game straight up tells you to when you boot it up. 
I never looked up what the, the thing was with the 2015 music. It still strikes me as odd that they would make a new soundtrack for a game that came out, like, over five years ago from when they made the new soundtrack. I mean... Strange decision. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucked here. I didn't go fast enough. Way too many sea urchins on my beach. It's still doable, but I made it harder on myself. For sure. The, uh, the teeth can still eat the sea urchins, I think. It's hard to tell, though. But this is definitely the, the easiest room to get orbs on. Like, I, I feel like it would be hard, but I feel like I could get 50 orbs in just the first two antibody rooms. Like, around 30 on this room and 20 in the last room? Like, I could. And then if it was designed that way, I could go straight to the gatekeeper there. But it's not... It wouldn't even be that hard of a change. Like, if, if they just changed it so that you, like, gatekeepers were a special case, and you could go to gatekeeper rooms without any adjacency so long as you had the requirement for it, that would instantly change it from being straight up impossible, as it is now, to being possible but difficult. Also, do I just, yeah, I just have the gatekeeper unlocked already. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll make a change. Like, I, it's already so close to being possible. Like, they really don't have to change that much. And, you know, like I said, even if they make the change, it's not like it's going to make it fucking easy. It's still going to be borderline impossible. Especially on 200% speed. But, I don't know, that feels like a more worthwhile challenge to strive for. And I still might be talking out of my ass, because there still might be some route I haven't considered that does make it possible to get all eight on the same save file. I just, uh, I don't see it. If there is a route. Oh, cool. I can't believe I survived that. Just completely pivoted his direction when I picked up one of the orbs and it scared me. This fight's difficulty is so RNG-dependent. Like, more so than any of the other bosses. I mean, it's just... it's probably... I would honestly say that this is harder than the final boss. It's probably just straight up the hardest gatekeeper. The final gatekeeper is, like, super pattern-based, and there's no RNG associated with it, really. It's entirely based on player position and everything. But the, uh, the randomness of this dude's movement when you touch the orbs just, uh, completely fucks it. Yep, it's fair. Oh, cool. Just accidentally walk straight into that. Awesome. Very good attempt completely soiled. But it was also a little bit fucked up that there were approximately 800 discs just hovering over the final orbs I needed to pick up for the past, like, 10 minutes. Didn't appreciate that. And no, 10 minutes is not an exaggeration. Cool. How many? Three? Oh, I'm in there. I'm in there! Awesome! Yeah, you see how I did that? You see how I picked up that last orb and how it was possible and how I won? Awesome! Very cool how the, the final two orbs I picked up decided to perfectly curve the boss on top of the final orb I needed. And also in a straight trajectory towards me, so I had to escape somehow.
Like, not only does it change his angle in a random direction, it also changes his angle to a random amount. So sometimes you'll touch an orb and it'll do, like, basically nothing, and you're like, oh, this is not so bad. Sometimes you'll touch a single orb, and it nearly completely 180s him. Very cool. Pretty sure I'm not going to get sub-15 on this one. It, it entirely depends on how fast I kill this guy. Like, that is the sole factor in me getting sub-15. It, it would also probably help if I did this zone and this zone a little bit faster, so maybe I should practice oops, those two zones. But uh, here's this disc. Like I said, just a single disc in the room. The timer doesn't even go up while you're standing in it. And then after a while, it aliens out of you and gives you a new ability. And then the room works as normal. I should be using slow-mo for this area. I'll try and survive, but... You do want to be slow in this area, because slow also gives you vision in the dark rooms. Not that much. And it still flickers on and off, which is just very cool. As far as fun, this is definitely the least fun zone to me. Especially the rooms that are flashing. Like, I just hate that. If it was just dark and I could only see a certain amount around me, fine. But the, the flashing just actively hurts to look at. And also makes for some not-so-fun gameplay in situations where a disc appears and you literally could not have seen it because the game decided to be black. Just a black fucking screen. It's mainly present in this room, where discs literally just, like, instantly spawn and then go away. Yeah, I'm safe there. Like, you have to constantly fucking run in this zone to avoid these guys that are, like, very fast and home towards you when they get close. And, uh, not the easiest thing to do with discs that just spawn in out of nowhere in half a second. Whatever. That's a good enough time. I can survive for a really long time in this area, so I'm fine. heavy use of fast forward for this room. Probably better to have dash than slow-mo here, but a little bit too late to change. Little too late. Uh, I think I'm fucked? Nah, there's an opening. There's an opening for everything. Uh, just run? Yeah, dude, I knew I could be fine. Not an ounce of fear in my body. Uh, I think I'm dead here for sure, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, I can safely last about a minute. Oh, I just need to last one more second in a different room, sure. Getting the one- oh, shit, that's timeless. <laughs> Never mind. Let's not pick the timeless room to get a second in. 120 is not so bad in this area. Oh, I, again, should have picked dash, whatever. You know what, just kill me, because I, I really do want dash for this fight. Oh, shit. I'm a dummy. Yeah, you can get three orbs if you're very fast with that. I wanted to test that. And I definitely didn't die for any other reason. I was just testing. Cool. This is by far the easiest of the uh, the gatekeepers, though. I did just walk into, like, one of the only threats. But uh, that's, that's on me. The gatekeeper itself is very easy. It's 
sometimes you can't always get the double hit on him. Like, if you pick up the first orb fast enough, he makes a second one, but... You're not always gifted that luxury. So again, I'm, I'm not going to get even close to 15 minutes, but... Closer than last time, probably. Oh, I still haven't done this. <laughs> oh, God. I just kind of gave up and was like, I don't want to fucking fight this guy anymore. <laughs> I don't, really. But here we are. Fighting him again. Like, sometimes the angle changes... Wow, I didn't mean to dash downwards, but that's just how dash works. If you don't select a direction, it just picks the last direction you inputted. Sometimes the change in direction when picking up an orb is helpful. Most of the time it's not, though. It's more net negative than positive. Ah. And, like, the, the most frustrating part is that sometimes you will just get incredibly lucky, and all of the orbs will just perfectly make, like, a ring around the outside that you just keep walking in. The boss never fucking camps it. It's beautiful. See, like, that was a situation where I got lucky, and picking up the orbs steered him away from me. But that was basically me just hoping that he turned away, because if he didn't, I was kind of fucked since I'm greedy. As you can tell. I will always pick up an orb, even if it's not in my best interest. Point in case? Fuck! Dude... I'm not paying attention when he spawns, dudes. I'm just assuming that the boss is the only threat, which is not reality. God damn it, dude. Like, I'm I'm so much more willing to be risky around normal fucking discs than I am around the boss. Like, the boss is big and scary. Normal disc, I'm like, I can stand on top of you. You won't do anything. Dumbass little baby disc. You won't do shit. You really do want to be going in like a circle though. To uh prevent the projectiles from the discs he creates. Covering literally 100 percent of the map. Kinda like kinda like what's going on right here. There you go. Sometimes patience is required, as much as I hate to admit it. Okay. Just making sure it still counts, even if I don't die in that room. Like, this is another weird case where, like, you just, for some fucking reason, have to die in this room to unlock this room. Even though the gatekeeper objective has already been done. Who knows why. Ah! <laughs> fuck. Haven't played enough Lethal League. I do not have a read on these angles, dude. This is one of the harder disc types for me. Like, you would think it would be really easy to read. And it probably should be, if you're anyone but me. I survived exclusively because they made it so that when you touch a wall, it doesn't get rid of your dash. Oh, whatever. He has survived 90 seconds. That's pretty fucking hard, honestly. Ugh. Cannot really do the strat I'm trying to do there. Not safely. Uh, you know what? Oh, no, 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 no. I can do the secret here. That's what I did last time. I just got the secret. And then left. Which is probably a pretty good strat. Well, I fucked it. 
you get a, uh, a secret room unlocked when you go around the uh, perimeter in this area. It's probably safer if I do it this way. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, still got it. And not in the way that old people say it. Probably should go for the center bits early on, because this guy is going to completely block them. But yeah, the, the more floor tiles I can touch in these earlier rooms, the better. It's like, I can get, like, above 20 on Danger Zone, but I'm not so great at all of these other rooms. I have, like, no practice in them at all. Good enough. Didn't even do my regular danger zone strat. There you go. A little bit better. Still bad. To get, like, very good at danger zone, though, like, a very good time, it still requires a bit of luck on the spawn locations of these guys. It's not all luck. You can pretty confidently get 20 seconds without too much effort, but anywhere higher than 20 seconds is uh, absurd. Wow, this is my best time yet. This is my longest e-boy ever. Wow, <laughs> so close to being my best time. Not actually my best time. Very close, very close. I just need to get 20 seconds here, which shouldn't be hard. Shouldn't be. I still don't fully understand how these guys work. They just dash very quickly, and once they start dashing, they don't really stop. I think that's just... Oh, no. No, okay, so they dash three times. That's how they work. When they start dashing, it is a burst of three. They'll dash until they touch a wall, and then immediately start dashing again. I getcha. I understand the concept. Alright, I, I just need 20 seconds, so kill me. And if I kill the boss faster, I'll have a better time than last time, but not that much, honestly. I would say this is a failed attempt. Oops. That doesn't help. <laughs> if I had gotten that tile before that projectile touched me, I would have been fine. I fucking hate how... how finicky the hitboxes on these floor tiles are still. Like, uh, is it still possible to do this? Wait, like, fucking... This is not a good... Yeah! It's still possible to go straight in the middle of two tiles without touching either of them. That should tell you that the hitboxes are a little bit too tight. I should probably get both tiles in that situation, not neither tile. That's just me. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Ugh! My necessity to go fast is killing me here. That is the hardest phase, though. If I make it to this phase, I honestly should just get a free kill. There's no reason I should be dying on the second phase unless I get really unlucky. And, uh... I mean, same thing for the third phase, honestly. Unless I get, like, completely walled, which so far has not really seemed possible. I should always be winning when I get here. Wow, that was scary. Very, very, very slightly faster than last time. Very slightly. Still feels like a pathetic run, though, because of how many times I died on the uh, meat gatekeeper. Alright. I do wish the credits were skippable. Like, I know you want to be seen, but I've already seen the credits multiple times now, you know? It's just like, uh, you know, any 
any button to skip would be nice. Fast forward's cool too, but it still takes a while. Okay, 50% exactly. Legend. 27 minutes. Oh yeah, I probably should stop my actual timer too, but... 2701. Hey, that's an improvement though, that, uh... Carnivorous Gatekeeper ended up being more threatening than the final boss. That's a good sign, considering I just, like, do a bunch of instant deaths against the final boss. I'm still not gonna mess around with hard mode. Not on this stream. Again. He goes again. If I could save some time earlier on, too, that would be really nice, because I keep going extra slow in the first zone, trying to get the first 90 seconds. Not a good start! You'd really hope for, like, 30 seconds in the first room, is what you're looking for. Okay, I, I'm just gonna reset immediately. That's just abysmal. Too bad. Too bad for me to accept it. I need to chill with the fast forward, honestly. Fast forward is getting me killed in situations where there should be, like, no fucking threat at all. But because I'm tempted to make things go faster, I end up dying much, much, much faster. Because believe it or not, the game is a little bit hard to play fast forwarded. That's an acceptable time. Not spectacular, but it's better. Definitely an improvement. Okay, that's not great, but it's still something I can make up for in the fourth room. Because I am probably going to go to the fourth room, in all likelihood. I hate how much they're hovering along the outside... I guess it makes sense that they should hover along the outside, though, right? Because they always dash to a wall. That, uh... Makes more sense than I thought it did. Turns out I'm the dumb one. I think it might actually be easier to dodge against the grain of the wall discs. Because I, I, it seems a little counterintuitive, but I, I think it's because... Uh, when you're going with the grain, it, it makes them an obstacle for a longer period of time. Like, if I'm running with it, like, that was much more obstacle than if I'm running against it. It's only, like, a split second that it could actually kill me. So I think I'm already safe to just die and uh, go to the gatekeeper. Yeah. You don't want to survive longer than necessary when you already have access to the gatekeeper. Because that's just wasting time for no reason. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on that one, if you don't mind. Not gonna let the greed get the better of me on the first gatekeeper. Though it really wants to. I love how you can dash while you're holding the orb still. Okay, so, you know... You don't need to get 30 seconds here, but it would be nice if you got close to 30 seconds here. It shouldn't even be that hard, really. Like, you don't always have to stand in the center. Might feel like you do, you definitely don't. You can dip out for a little bit and still push the time. Okay, now I'm okay if I die, and I'm fine getting slow, because that unlocks a, uh, another room that I'm probably going to need, because my track record <laughs> on this room... I was scratching my finger. Not a good time. My track record on this room isn't the best, either. I just hate how these fucking spinny boys move. I don't even want to mess around with that room. Not longer than I need to, at least. I just need to survive two seconds in here. Nice. 
That went really well. Now don't fuck it up on this one. Do not let the greed get the better of you. It's really not that hard of a fight. Just be careful. Your biggest threat is, uh, is the spinny boys. So you probably don't want to walk towards it like you did there. That, that was a very scary situation. Because they can just completely change their direction on a fucking whim. Which is miserable. And you did it. And you did it. God damn. I was so scared there. Alright. Go straight into this room, get 10 seconds. This is so much better already. What, whatever, get fucking clone. I fucked it up. Get 10 seconds. Die again. I, I should have gone straight for that orb, but... I never think fast enough on the first orb. I'll try and remember for the next room. This is still pretty damn fast. Ugh. Not the best spawn locations on the last two orbs, but whatever. See, the, the more orbs you can get quickly, the easier it's going to be for you. Because it's very easy to, to combo orbs incredibly fast when there aren't that many obstacles on screen, but it very quickly becomes harder as, uh, as the antibody makes more and more problems for you. So I'm still gonna... You know what? I'm fine dying there, honestly. Because this is the one where I really want to make progress on. Even with pretty bad luck, I pushed this to 30 last time. Now, this is, like, exceptionally bad luck, but I could still probably push it to 30. It's only three waves of urchins, which is all right. And I know it's going to make more waves of urchins when it unantibodies itself. I, I shouldn't be doing this. Go, go to the next room. I already fucked it. 20 is fine. It's still, like, above what I need. In fact, I got 20 on the first one, too, so I, I really just need to... Uh, I did get 20 on the first one, right? I think I did. So that means I just need to get 10 here, which is super doable. I made way more of a deal of that than I needed to. Alright, just die. Go into this room. Die. What? Oh, I, I got 49, not 50. There you go. My bad. Okay, now really, really, really want to do well on this fight. Because this determines whether or not I'm getting sub-15. Entirely. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude! Why? Why does it have to follow me so much? It's such a piece of shit. I swear to god, the boss just knows where the fucking worst place to go is. And it's like, yep, you pick up an orb, I'm fucking headed straight there. I am on my way, buddy. So don't even worry about it. Yeah, I wish, I wish this guy worked a little bit differently, I'm not going to lie. I would appreciate if it wasn't as much of a piece of shit. Like, you can be dark. Look at that fucking turn, dude! <laughs> that is not the angle it was going to come out from. Ugh. You can be completely fucking behind it and pick up, like, three orbs is all it takes to do a complete 180. I hate him. I hate him so much. And, like, sometimes there are so many fucking projectiles on screen that you kind of have to... I... I just... The boss changed its fucking direction when I picked up an orb and I just had to go somewhere different. <sighs> I hate it so much, dude. You'll get completely walled off by projectiles. Which makes it so you're unable to move. And that just makes the projectile issue even worse. Because now there's like... The boss has spawned these... Fuck you circle discs all over the place. So they're getting complete fucking coverage on your ass. Completely walling you in further while you're standing still. 
That was really nice. Uh, okay. Very cool boss AI, once again. Real attempt. I, I just can't go into the center. I just can't. I just cannot access the center. And he's he's camping it even harder. All right, I got one. Oh my fucking god! It's still alive. Yep. Uh, yes. Kill me. Don't care. Alright, I still have to do well in the dark section, which is frightening, but... <sighs> Dude, I don't know if I can do it. I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, I... I think I could maybe do it sub-20. Sub-15 is such a hard push. But I could definitely do sub-20 here. It's just, I still need to spend bare minimum two minutes in this area. Like, fast forward helps a little bit, but... I'm also getting very lucky in this room, which helps quite a lot, actually. Like, surviving this long in this room is sick. Because I'm, like, guaranteed a minute in the room to the right here. Not, like, guaranteed, but it's very easy to get a minute in the room to the right. So if I can get close to a minute in this room, which I already have, I mean, I'm straight up, like, at a minute. Yeah. That's, uh, that's good. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go do this room, which I'm much more confident in. And if I get a minute, I can go straight to the gatekeeper. Don't have to worry about anything else in this area. Just start worrying about the last area, which I am worried about. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I am worried about the last area. I know that I could easily get fucked up by it. The boss, I'm a lot more confident on, but the area itself, uh, not so much. I am feeling particularly walled off, but I have found a way. Okay, I I'm basically there. Even if I die here, I can just go into another room and last, like, one second, but I don't even have to. Awesome. Phantom Gatekeeper. I never even went to slow-mo. I just realized I've been using dash the entire dark area, which is not normal. I didn't get the three orbs in the first cycle, but that's fine. He was really fast on that one, honestly. I didn't get the two orbs so well. He's really fucking fast to leap out. Kind of frightened me. Yeah, the big saw blades are being a little bit more pain in the ass -y than they usually are. Okay. Woo! Oh god, I got spooked by that big saw coming out there. Uh. Uh. I don't understand why sometimes this room isn't unlocked. Was it the same case last time? I don't even remember. I feel like last time it was just open for some reason. Whatever. No, kill me! God damn! No, don't do the fucking room again! And then just die instantly. Again, it, it makes no sense that I have to do any of what I just did. Oh, that was fair. <laughs> uh, I don't feel confident doing what I was doing there. This is not good so far. Yeah, I already failed it. Fuck, dude. This room is the worst for me. Now they're at pretty easy patterns for me to understand, but... Ugh, I'm so bad at that room, in particular. Getting just the 10 seconds required to leave. That sucked. Getting just the 10 seconds required is, is hard on me, when it shouldn't be... Still trying to get as much time as possible, even though I've got the 10 seconds, obviously, because, you know, I could push it farther, and you should push it farther when you have the option. Uh, yeah, fuck this room. Just go for the eyeball. 
<laughs> oh, dude. Ah. We're going for the eyeball. Definitely. Oh, no. Dude, I'm fucking throwing. <gasps> okay. You know, why did I do the room again? Just... Oh my god, and it just uh, re-unlocks the room for you, because that's fair. Makes so much sense. But this is like a free room. Like, pushing it past 10 seconds is the hard part. You can get like a solid fucking 7 or 8 seconds so easily. So just unlocking another room to get time in is, is better than getting a good time in any given room. If that makes sense. I don't even know how much I pushed it. I think I'm, like, probably pretty close to 90, honestly. I'm still not going to... Wow, this is really good for that room. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I did really well. I didn't do the proper strategy for this room, but whatever. I was focusing on how much time I had left. Like a dumbass. You still have to get lucky on the spawn of Danger Zone. I have not in these past few attempts, but that's fine. God damn it. Oh, whatever. I unlocked the fucking... this room. I'm so stupid. And I missed my 15 minute window, but damn, this is a really fucking good... sub-20. If I was a little bit better at the Carnivorous Gatekeeper, I, I would probably be in there right now. That's the biggest choking point for me. I did so fucking well on the dark area, though. Like, two minutes within the first two rooms is so solid. Also, that fucking blows. Blows big time? Wow. Failing on the 20 seconds in this room is not what you want to see. Wow! I thought he was gonna dash again, because I'm not paying attention to each individual disc, because if you do pay attention to each individual disc, your fucking mind will implode. What am I doing wrong? Oof. Please be gentle. Thank you. Again, it's, it's not going to be what I want, but it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Also, really bad RNG on this phase of the fight. Awesome. If he's going, like, in a straight fucking para- or not parallel, but perpendicular- I guess it technically is parallel to the other walls, but... If he's going in a perpendicular, like, bouncing pattern back and forth, you're just straight up fucked on that phase of the fight. Like, you have to be so patient. To not accidentally uh, run into him. Because he's going to be camping the tiles, and if you try and be like ginger about it, you just like touch your little tippy toes in while he's still standing on it, you're probably gonna die. Because this dude's hitbox is not forgiving. And there you go, perpendicular bouncing pattern. It's a little bit better than it was last time. Yeah, it's actually a lot better. Alright, this should be a win. Almost got me. Got impatient for a bit. Oh, fuck. Thank God for the spot dodge. You know. 18. Ah, okay. Pretty good. Very close, but not on the money. I think that's going to do it for today, though. I'll come back. I'll come back soon. I do have work tomorrow and the next day. I'll try and get a stream in at least one of those days. Um, 
1801. Yeah. Pretty accurate to real time, honestly. Fuck, dude. Oh, so goddamn close. Dying 14 times on the carnivorous gatekeeper, though. That's what killed him. And taking a really long time on the room before the final boss. Also, not the greatest, but, eh, you know. An improvement. All right, so that's going to do it for today, though. Uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Thanks, Donald, for the raid. And uh, maybe see you tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, hopefully see you the next day. If I don't see you either of those days, I'll see you on Saturday. Right? It's Wednesday? Thursday? Yeah, it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> My days are so fucked recently. Uh, worst case scenario, I see you on Saturday, but hopefully I'll get there sooner. And hopefully on Saturday, regardless of whether or not if it's when I see you next, uh, hopefully we're doing a race. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll try and get the guys together. But uh, for now, that's it. Thanks. Thanks again. And uh, yeah, fucking see ya.